Mortal Kombat is filled with many types of characters including cyborgs, demons, superhumans and even dragons. But one particular group that doesn't get much attention are the god characters. It is taken for granted that gods are almighty beings that can never be defeated. That however is not exactly the case in Mortal Kombat. They actually cannot interfere with anything that has to do with mortal affairs unless in human form. Take for example Raiden, a former elder god that had to occupy a human form in order to stand up to Shinnok's villainy. In this list, I have assembled the top 5 most powerful gods in Mortal Kombat. Number 5. Fujin Fujin is the god of wind who was assigned by the elder gods to guard the secret amulet. He's often seen joining forces with the thunder god Raiden in his battles against Shinnok and his minions who constantly threat Earthrealm's safety. As the god of wind, Fujin has a great variety of wind-oriented attacks at his disposal. For instance, he can levitate by manipulating the wind around him, allowing him to strike the opponent from a safe distance. He also has the ability to concentrate a huge blast of wind at his opponents that can rip their skins right off. Fujin wins. Number 4. Shinnok The shadow grows. The legacy of life is death, Raiden. Being a fallen elder god, Shinnok possesses immeasurable powers which allowed him to quickly become the ruler of the Netherrealm, possessing millions of years worth of knowledge and wisdom. But despite that, Shinnok's greed and illusion of becoming the ultimate ruler over reality has been his greatest weakness. Even after corrupting Earthrealm's life force the Jinsei to transform himself into a supreme being, Earthrealm's protector was still able to eradicate him into the pits of the Netherrealm. That character comes in at number 3, Raiden. You will stand before the Elder Gods. Raiden is the eternal god of thunder and one of Mortal Kombat's most iconic characters. His main goal is to protect Earthrealm from any threat coming from Shinnok or any other malignant entity. Being a god, Raiden has many supernatural powers such as the ability to teleport, control lightning and even fly. He can also use his electrical powers to transform into an immense dragon that can inflict a great deal of damage to his opponents. But despite being the most popular of all the gods in the series, Raiden isn't the greatest in power, authority or rank. In fact, he has his own superiors who come in at number 2, the Elder Gods. It is regrettable, but the Mortal Kombat tournaments are not intended to prevent certain outcomes. They are intended only to maintain balance among the realms. They are the ones that created all the realms as a way to shatter the one being's essence. But despite their infinite power, they aren't able to interfere directly with the realms and that's why they appointed minor gods such as Raiden and Fujin to watch over the realms and neutralize any threat coming from number one, the one being. Not much is said about this almighty character but it is actually his energy that gives rise to powerful evil beings such as Shao Kahn, Onaga and Quan Chi, all in an effort to reunite all the realms in order to make itself whole again. That's why merging the realms is the only way for the one being to return. For that, it is the ultimate action that is feared not only by mortals but also by the elder gods themselves who are disposed to intervene by any means necessary just to stop that from happening. That's why despite its shattered consciousness, the one being is still beyond any doubt the most feared character in Mortal Kombat. Do you agree with these picks? Let me know in the comment section your own ranking of the most powerful gods in Mortal Kombat. For more, make sure to like the video and subscribe to Gamelution.